I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about, about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Uh, my guy Andrew Schultz is not here this week. He is at Burning Man doing whatever the hell they do at Burning Man. I am not sure. I'm hoping showering is a part of the equation. Uh, Taylor said they don't shower at Burning Man for a whole week. I don't know if that's true or what's not true. I'm just here to tell you that the Brilliant Idiots this week is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use the offer code idiot to save 10 percent off your first purchase let's start the show uh like i told y'all man andrew schultz is not here this week uh he's at burning man but we got some very special guests man uh three people that i thoroughly enjoy uh whenever i hit him uh whether it's on 85 south show or their own podcast um we have the poor ladies from poor minds Yay. lex and dre are here and we got the hilarious Nav Green here. Man, what's going on? What's happening, Nav? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Nav, I asked you, do you like New York, man? It, it's cool. It's just different. Well, you from Atlanta, right? Yeah. Okay. So, like, if I'm walking, like, I, I like that the, the food places be open late. I must say, I do like that. Okay. <laughs> do you really eat as much as you put on, Nav? I know you're vegan, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's always a mindset with the vegan though cuz I had a lot of vegan people attack me because they, you know, they didn't understand the way I vegan. Mm. How do you vegan? <laughs> like I eat regular food but I treat it as is is a vegan plant-based product. I get it. It makes sense. And I mean the way they make plant-based <laughs> products nowadays, you know, when I you see you eating some again? beef ribs, I'm like, "Well, maybe it is plant-based. Who am I to say it's not?" It's a mind state. It's what you identify as. It identifies as plant-based. Oh, plant-based. so it's like transplant. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, for real. Nah, that's out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> nah. so you, said, you said you like the, 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 the restaurants are open? That's all you Yeah, like? I, I like that part. But I'm saying, like, people, like, they always moving. Like, they don't stop to talk. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, hey, you know how you might be like, hey, what's going on? Like, they just gonna keep, keep walking. walking. Yeah. And that's scary when you're from the South, because I'm from South Carolina, because, like, you know, you say peace sometime or hello, because you're mm-hmm. testing yeah. the waters. Let me right. make sure the temperature right. right. Somebody don't say it back. You you know, you got your guard up now. Right. right. Yep. You might hold a door open for somebody. They keep going. They don't need, like, that's like, that's a conversation starter. Right. Yeah. In Atlanta, be like, appreciate that, bro. Where right. you from? <laughs> go from now. Yeah. You be asking people where you from when they hold it off you? Nah. Man, you done took it somewhere else. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> like I'm saying, they not just holding the door. Like I'm saying, that could start. Like you know how you it might get on start the elevator. A yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you don't hear the. If I hold the elevator from you, you'd be like appreciate that. Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then like, you'd be like, where you from? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. I did that for you know, I never did. you know it's so funny I did that for Monique back in the day and Monique said I held the door for her or something this was years years ago like uh-huh. 06, 07 and she said uh, uh, thank your mama and your grandma for me baby you know what I mean Cause <laughs> oh they, my they, God. They, they, they raised a good young man, man you know so she really talks like that for real. Oh, yeah. Well, because every time I see her on social media, she's like, my sweet baby. Yeah. Sweet baby. And I'm like, does she really, like, talk like that for real? Yeah, 100%. Like, I like that. 100%. That's how you gonna talk when you be all do. I talk like that now. What you mean? Do y'all switch That's it up? That's I tell my niggas. Do y'all call... Lord, have mercy. <laughs> What do you My say? sweet baby. <laughs> <laughs> Mama appreciates you. Yeah, that's a form of code switching, though. Because you don't talk like that no other yes, time. You don't. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a, oh, I'm a major code switcher. Like, okay. I am not, like, I'm a completely different person. Like, when I'm around somebody I like, like, I'm very, believe it or not, a soft person. Dre has seen that side of me. Mm-hmm. What's your but sign? I feel like I'm a Leo. Oh, okay, okay. My mm-hmm. second daughter's a Leo. Yes, I'm a Leo. She's hard-headed, don't listen. Really? That oh, sounds Lord like have me. mercy. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm very hard-headed. So, Possessive. <laughs> All right, relax. Like, Leo's are possessive. Yeah, the Leo's possessive. She is possessive. I knew she was possessive when during the Breakfast Club interview. She said she she can cheat, but the other the man can't. Oh, yeah. Period. <laughs> you mind? What kind of logic is that? <laughs> it's not logic. <laughs> it's not, nothing about me is logical. <laughs> Everybody knows that. that That's this good point. though. You, are you, would you say you like water? Meaning that um, you know, you you adjust to whatever thing you're in. Yeah, I feel like the way I grew up, like I've been in so many different spaces around so many different people. So I'm still myself, yeah. you know, I can just, I, I can adapt. 
I can adapt. When, when you talk about coach with you, when you used to work at your other job. Oh, absolutely. Job, what was the voice like? I was hear? like, when I would answer the phone, I'd be like, hi, thank you for calling Regis. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lex. How may I help you today? <laughs> oh, absolutely. You Mr. Rogers, your office is ready for mm-hmm. you. Yeah. You know, I was really. Yeah. You had one, Drea? You were you was a boss. In the, you ain't no professional voice. Okay, boss. So, so when I first graduated from college, I actually worked at two oil and gas companies in Houston. Okay. So like the first one, it was like a contract and I was working there for a year. Then the second one, I got hired and I was getting paid salary. And yeah, I had my little professional voice. Let me hear it. I used to be like, per my last email. <laughs> <laughs> but she still had the know. ass That's how shirts. you keep people together in a professional way yeah. Her supervisor used to hate on her Because she was fine I really feel like that's why I got laid off <laughs> Oh lord, Too much ass Because I, I got laid off for no reason Like I thought shit was going good That pencil they, skirt They called me in their office I said, <laughs> me? They were moving in another direction Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, well, we're going to give you a severance package For your troubles Thank How you much for your that time. was for? <laughs> it was for like 10000 Damn but I was, and I was only there for like seven, eight months. And then that's oh, when yeah. I decided to move to Atlanta. Like I moved to Atlanta like five months later. Mm. That's a big ass severance package. What the hell they, they did to you that they gave you $10,000 and not talk about it? I don't know. But the crazy thing is like, I used to get all type of great benefits. Like I said, I was there for like seven, eight months and I had got like a $3,000 bonus for Christmas. What? After being there for like three, four months. It was called Intervest. Mm-hmm. What was it called? Intervest. It's still open too in Houston. Mm-hmm. That's why they fired you. Said some man up there liked you because they know what in hell. <laughs> now, what's your professional voice? <clears throat> <laughs> we just heard it. <laughs> we did. What you mean? I just heard it. Because he's oh. on the phone with Delta. I was calling Delta to get some free Sky Miles. He got him. I got him. What'd you say? Hey, uh, Hold on, wait a minute. Because I don't really know how to fake it. Like, I got to be in that moment. Delta, how can I help you? Hello. um, So yesterday, (laughs) I'm trying not to be upset because I was upset last night, but I've calmed down a little bit now. The flights kept getting pushed back and delayed. I had a very important meeting. And (sighs) is it any way you could compensate me for my troubles? Because I've, um, I'm now I'm gold status with Delta. Okay. Um, and a lot of people was arguing at the desk, and the morale was very low. And I didn't want to go up there and be, you know, be, you know, join the mix. <laughs> so if anything you could do to help me, and I, she asked me for my confirmation number. I said that's H as in hotel, I as in India, <laughs> J as in Julio, four as in four. L as in Lima. We was like four four as in four. Four as in four (laughs) is wild. wild. That makes sense though. J as in Julio. Because I have an accent. That might throw a light. That might (laughs) throw off. But J as in Julio does not make sense. And I said, after I got off the phone, I said, I should have said J as in Juliet. Julio make all the sense. You you from Atlanta. Atlanta Falcons. Julio Jones. Julio Jones. Yeah. (laughs) That, that makes so, perfect sense. Y'all just, ain't a genius. Though. I'm saying <laughs> you're supposed to say a letter that it sounds like, like Julio, like when you hear that. Okay, if but it, I never met nobody named Julio and it start with an A. I mean, of course, but I'm saying you're supposed to so they can hear it. Clear. If I was so off track, how did she pull up my confirmation number? So <laughs> Y'all get her together now. That's true. Oh, that's that's true. True. Points were made. And Points were made. We all know how to spell Julio. Yeah. And it may not be because of Julio Jones, but it's definitely because of Don Julio to kill. Right. Yeah. Come on now. The that's only reason fact. we know it starts with a J is because that Don Julio <laughs> bottle. Reposado or Blanco? I like Reposado. Mm. You with them, man. I like Reposado. You the only one that drink Blanco. I like Blanco too, but I like Catherine Dragona's Blanco. I like uh, Reposado and the Don Julio. Yeah, Arda and Yeho with his 1942 is on Yeho. Hey, hey. I like you getting too Yeah, you talking bro. a little fast, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now they, we ain't there yet. <laughs> ain't doing 1942. I don't like Casamigos no more, man. Really? Why? I, That's I, I, all they drink. What? Really? No, I think, I I think I mean, they mass producing it now. So it yeah. don't taste like it used it to. It used to taste more aged and yeah, it is. don't taste like that no more. I'm not a tequila person she anymore. I went yeah. back to vodka. Like I feel like when you start drinking, everybody starts with vodka, and then you go mm-hmm. to your tequilas. Then you may go to like Hennessy and Jack and all that stuff. Well, I'm a little went, older, so I started with Mad Dog Twenty. Oh, I'm I weird. was about to say I started with Four Loco. Well, I'm old. Oh, let me not act like I'm not old too. Like I wasn't sipping my That's Mama Alize. Yes, you know sir. what that secret is? Yes, sir. And Nuvo. Y- yep, I had the Alize. Nuvo. Yes. Oh my God. When the I was little, that, like that was what everybody was on. When I was like little, I used to stick my mom's like Alize a little bit, like you know, just I to taste Alize. it. Mm-hmm. So listen, do you do you switch up your alcohol depending on uh, who you dating? 
No, I some always... Some men of vodka men, some men of tequila mm-hmm. men, some men of cognac. I'm no. consistent with my tequila. I want my Tito's, period. Like, it'll be like when I'm dating somebody and we go to the club and, like, they're getting bottles. Like, I'll literally have my own Tito's bottle because nobody else drinks it yeah. but me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People don't know that's um Michael Jackson Brothers uh, vodka. Man, shut the hell up. Tito's? No, for real, yeah. Tito Jackson. Really? No, it's not. Google it. I ain't here to prove it. It's a Texas, it's a Texas <laughs> vodka. <laughs> Google it. Tito I don't Jackson. believe you. Wait. I never <laughs> took you Tito, for a lie, Charlamagne. Tito, <laughs> Tito Jackson invested in that vodka a long, long time ago. Bro, you okay. would have seen crazy. the commercial. You would have seen the commercial. No, you wouldn't now. buy it if it was Tito Jackson in the commercial. I wouldn't know. Exactly. Why not? <laughs> Is that the one with the hair? He is? He, oh, mean, wow. I know I'm what? <laughs> I did tell y'all that. What you looking at? That's crazy. Tito Jackson. It's, it's different Tito Jacksons, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're Michael Jackson's brother, too. Tito. <laughs> you gotta be specific. Yeah. That is Michael Jackson's brother, man. It says brother something. It says brother beverage. I mean, that, no, no, no. <laughs> brother, <laughs> No, he's the he's the founder of it, but Tito Jackson invested in it back in the day, and they named it after. Him. Oh, okay. Well, I can believe that. Like he's That's an right. investor. That makes That's right. Like, that That's makes right. more sense. Don't repeat that though. I'm Listen, definitely not. Let's you ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> let's let's talk about some things that are going on, man. Um, y'all y'all you from Georgia now? You from Atlanta? Y'all live in Atlanta, right? Mm-hmm. You from Texas originally? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You from Atlanta? Mm-mm. Oh, both of y'all from, I'm from Houston. Oh, both of y'all from Houston. No. Oh, no. Well, she's from uh, Orange. You better get it right. What's the difference? Fruit <laughs> City all day. That's where they say what, that, that somebody last week said Megan Thee Stallion not really from Houston. She's from No, Orange. she really she from, really from, from San Antonio. Houston. That's what they said. San Antonio. Nah, she's really Houston. Real Houston. You knew her growing up? You went no, I didn't know her growing up, but I know a lot of people that, that, no, she, a lot of people that she went to school with, like, I know. Okay. Yeah, she's definitely from Houston. I feel like she would fuck with y'all heavy if she... Man, I cannot want wait. want her to come on the show, for yeah, sure. Yeah, she should do Paul Mine. I would love it. Every, and a lot of our listeners, like, they've been waiting on that. They so be asking. They definitely be Is that like y'all dream guests? Um, yeah, I think it's one, one of them. them yeah, sure. we would definitely love to do an episode with Meg, mm-hmm. you know. Um, it's a lot of people that we would like to have, you know, right. but we're working our way up. You know how you know how it go. Nasty, you said you would love that too? Yeah. I, I, you, know, you, like, you like what you see. You want to be in the studio that day. Yeah, I, I'll be a PA that day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a camera operator, sound You know engineer. she got a whole man now, party, partisan Fontaine. Uh, you know, I, like, not the judge people but like you know if you see somebody talk to somebody you feel like you got more of a chance Ooh, <laughs> now see why would you Damn, think that party you hear that party <laughs> no I, I party was, got jokes too now I was talking about Tory Lane. Uh, she, did she talk to him? Oh, God. <laughs> so she, I'm saying, because, like, you know how you think a woman went like a shorter man. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, short ain't not the ballpark. Uh-huh. Yeah. Nah, I got to just make sure she, like, well rounded me. Right. <laughs> 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 hey, I, I do respect tall women who like short men. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, like when I was out here in these streets, uh-huh. all my other joints were taller than me. Like uh, really? Yeah, what? like five nine, five ten. Ooh, Why'd you like you, to I, climb trees? What you hills. talking about? I'm weird. I, 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 I love it. But I, I, I guess cause I like to I like to be like feel nurtured. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like to be the little spoon? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what I'm like they that be is so, so tall funny. and stuff, so it's just like they you know treat you like a little baby or right. like, so his legs tall enough where she need to be a little taller. I'm pretty I'm pretty tall for a woman. So, yeah, with heels on, you be tall. Yeah, like I feel a lot of times that when people meet me at the live shows, they be like, Oh, you're not as big as you say you are, but you gotta realize I'm hanging out with somebody who's five two all day. Damn. <laughs> no, not Damn. in a bad way. Drea is I really little. Am five two. She's very tiny. Drea is very little. So like out of all my friends, like I'm the tallest. I'm mm. thick. Like it's a lot. I'm, I'm thick like, like, too. I'm like five eight. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. okay. But I'm like, I'm 5'8", 180. Like, I'm not, like, a little girl. Like 80? Yeah, I was 210. <laughs> I done got, I done lost some weight. Because of the she stress. She a little slim thick. Not because of the stress. I just chop things off my body when I feel like it. What? I'm a surgery mommy. You got you had surgery? I love surgery. I get surgery, like, every day. I did not know that. Well, what surgery did you be? Um, I recently got my breast done. Um, but don't that add weight? No, it's you got them reduced. I got to reduce. Oh, yeah, reduced. they used to be oh, really, yeah. really big. Oh, so. your back was hurting. Oh man, Aunt, look, Auntie can only stand up for so long. Yeah. So I was on stage and it just wasn't working. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, let me stop by, get them chopped up the real chop quick. Doctor Miami? Mm-hmm. No, but actually he was across the street of the doctor that I went to. <laughs> what else you got done? Um, I've gotten lipo. I got BBLs, fillers, oh, Botox. Hey, look, I cannot tell. 
I mean, I'm not even joking. Though. That's good. That's I mean, that's all, though. Because I, like I should get natural looking surgery. Absolutely. I've always been like just minor things. Like, well, how does one get plant based surgery? How do you get like organic surgery? Organic surgery? <laughs> I think it's all about doing your research, but also I've never had the image of like, oh, I want to look like her. It's mm-hmm. always like, okay, you know what? I got this right here. I yeah. want to round it out a little bit. I just look at my, I'm my own body goals. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay, let me just plump this up a little bit. Let me slim right. this down a little bit. I never look at somebody else and try to have their body. Mm-hmm. Nav, do you care about natural bodies or like, you know, man, as long as they don't change the front. Like, What's the front? As, what? <laughs> you know what <laughs> <laughs> long as they never mess with the transmission. Oh, <laughs> wait. You I'm mean weak. the vagina? Yeah, don't touch that. But what about if it needs some rejuvenation? Need a little nah, don't up. touch that. Don't touch that. <laughs> really? A lot of girls are getting the vaginal rejuvenation. Yeah. yeah. What's that? But I'm like, well, how do you get to a point to where it need to be rejuvenated? I mean, if you had a, a few you slipping kids, up. But I heard it snap down. <laughs> You said what? Tampon tampon. Slipping up. <laughs> if you sneeze and it get a little loose, you, you might you. need that right. rejuvenation. If you sneeze, sneeze and, you peel and your little tampon <laughs> come out, that's you gotta wild. Snap back. You gotta step back. Yeah, I feel like when you had a couple kids, like you know, it's a muscle down there, so things can get a little weak. Y'all do Kegels though, right? Yeah, Ooh, I do. absolutely. Yeah. You have to. Mm-hmm. They do butt Kegels in Atlanta. I hear. <gasps> I am oh. weak. Now I say, I don't know, I don't know about I that, bro. I think people that move out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you born and raised in Atlanta? Yeah, that ain't, yeah, that ain't oh, I weak. always wonder, like, you know, when you meet real Atlanta natives, the real Atlanta natives are different than the people who moved there and started the rapping Atlanta. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, sometimes. But, but, but then some of the transplants helped make Atlanta what it is we know today. Mm-hmm. So it, it depends. If they doing good, you know, you got to claim them and <laughs> uphold them. But soon yeah. they start messing up. Hey, they ain't from Atlanta. Would who, you claim who, me and legs? Who? For right now, yeah. <laughs> who? 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 I, I said, would he claim me and legs? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, if okay, they claim okay, Atlanta, okay. yeah, we, I'm rocking with them. Hmm. So when Shorty made that song, what was her name? Um, Amaretta. Amaretta. Yeah, yeah. Was that an accurate song? 93% of it. Okay. Yeah. The only reason that, because it was certain, certain, she was way in Cobb County doing it, though. She was supposed mm-hmm. to be downtown with it. Like, yeah. Is Cobb County Atlanta? No. Not really. No. You know, don't nobody Fulton from Atlanta County not understand. Atlanta. Who? Fulton County. What? Fulton County is Atlanta. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cobb okay. is kind of. But she kind of said my school went to Atlanta. That's when I turned the song on. And you then. from East Atlanta. Yeah, I was like, hey, whoa, you going too far. <laughs> what school <laughs> is it? Matt now. Okay. Yeah. That is Atlanta, though. To me, uh, according to me, but not to her. <laughs> but to me, East Atlanta is still close. Like she said, not if it's, from she said if that East on there, if you got to do all that, it's not Atlanta. And where's she from? She in the city. Mm. Oh, okay. But I like how she said Clayco is not Atlanta, and we all know like that's what Lotto represents, and Lotto still got on the remix. I thought that was cute. Yeah, cause, yeah. But you got to know, like, in Atlanta, if you see somebody and they say, be like, where you from? You say, where you from? Mm-hmm. But if you out of town and somebody be like, where you from? You just say Atlanta because I'm not finna break down and say right. Clayton County. Right, right. right. So but they, who damn, ain't Waka Flocka from Clayton yeah, County? He, and like, yeah, he yeah. rep that. Like, yeah. Like, if but you listen really to the from music. New York. Now, see? I, I think his mom. <laughs> yeah, his mom was born in uh, Queens, I believe. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. you're just messy. No, that's true. <laughs> I heard he was really from New York. <laughs> no, he's not really from New York. I mean, York. like, born here. Mm. I, don't know, I, should say. I don't know. No? That's a good mm. question. I don't know. Now, I wanted to ask y'all about, uh, you know, the the, the 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 DA in Fulton. What's her name? The DA in Atlanta, Taylor Paul. Oh, name man. I know Angela Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's her name? What's her oh, name? She's trying to get him the I hell up out of there. Um, yeah, Fanny, Fanny Willis. Willis. Oh, yeah. Play, play, play this clip if you can, if t- Taylor. She blinking, is it? Look, I was like, she means business. She don't play. It, oh, on she mute, you could tell she talking that shit. <laughs> 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 they gotta go. <laughs> have y'all seen the clip? I uh, haven't seen nah, it. I, I have. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know it's just like the rest of them. This is her speaking on using rap I'm not targeting like anyone, but however, you do not get to uh, commit crimes in my county and then decide to brag on it, which you do that for a form of intimidation and to further the gang and not be held responsible. One of the lyrics in, used in this 
indictment. Just one of the lyrics is, me and my crew striking out, striking in all black. Send me the drop. We'll kick in the house. If we steal a car, we're going to take off the tag. Well, they kick it indoors, committing home invasions. Uh, and now I'm using those lyrics that they're admitting to doing that. I'm going to continue to do that. People can continue to be angry about it. Um, I have some legal advice. Don't confess to crimes on rap lyrics if you do not want them used or at least get out of my county. Mm -hmm. She is. When hey. she said my county, you know she's serious. Yeah. yeah. But I, I feel she like... She said not on my wife. What did she say wrong? I mean, I feel like we all know that a lot of people are dramatic when they're writing songs sometimes. So that can necessarily not be true. Well, I think what people, people are missing lie. here is that they're not locking people up, you know, just because of their lyrics. They're locking people up because they done, done did some shit. They've been investigated, and this is all part of the investigation. And if you did do a crime, why would you get on a record and confess to it? I mean, I agree with you on that, but I also feel like she's trying to maybe make an example out of them, too. Like, I feel like it's more than that. Like, I feel like sh maybe she's just fed up with how it was everything that's been going on in Atlanta, but I feel like she is making an example out of it. As them. she should be, though, right? Yeah, she not wrong. I but, just wish she would have waited till after the summer. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, Donna we, had just I dropped. I'm saying. You know, she we, was about to get a concert. He was, was about to have a concert. Like, Wait, and he know. was about to drop. So it's like, damn. In November? But she yeah. wasn't talking about Gunna and Thug then. That was another gang that's uh, been yeah. running around doing oh, home invasions. I don't invasions know who she's talking about with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. She should have got them first then. Yeah. yeah. Focus <laughs> on them right now. You should have got <laughs> them <laughs> and waited on Gunna. Yeah. He just had dropped Push and Pee. Now, I'm telling you, Charlotte, man, we be crying in the club. Yeah. They start doing the oh. gun on me. Tears just start flowing. Oh, like, oh man. I, 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 I don't think they got nothing. I honestly don't think they got nothing on Gunner. Nah, he, he's I don't, good. Yeah, I don't think they got nothing on Gunner. I don't, I don't know. I don't really know Thug's situation that well. It don't seem like they got much on Thug either. Other well, than, other it than seems he like the stuff that I've been, like, reading, like, somebody from their camp is allegedly in there, like, telling on everybody. Yeah. And that's yeah. why they haven't been able to get out. Well, what about, and I'm, I'm not talking about YSL, but what about, you know, that that crew right there? If somebody, they committed these crimes and somebody already got on a record mm. and told everything, isn't that snitching too? Yeah. I mean, kind of. And lock That's them snitching. up. We don't do incriminating yourself. You right. gotta start stopping them in. The, hey, hey, man, cut that. Yes. <laughs> cut that. Yes. Bro, delete that line. I man. went with you, nigga. Cut that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. We, and <laughs> unfortunately, your song not hard enough, so we don't care. When you make good music, Damn. that's what we care. Yeah. We gonna talk about free but gun. Bruh, so so you can so go to fast. jail. Oh, you can leave him in there. Yeah, yeah. y'all can stay. Y'all can stay. Can <laughs> we do an exchange? Yeah. Man, I know a million other rappers. <laughs> They could have got <laughs> in Atlanta. Name some names, Nas. That needs to be arrested. <laughs> some of these niggas Name, need to be Nas, arrested. Get Nas. little Nas X. Oh man, stop. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, little Nas X ain't bothering bro. nobody. All right, now, little Scrappy. Little Scrappy. God, what's Scrappy do? <laughs> he made no hits. <laughs> If you ain't doing nothing, uh, take you ain't the doing nothing productive. <laughs> oh my man, God. stop, man. Scrappy a good dude. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have no Shout problem with Scrappy. Scrappy. I, I rock with Scrappy. But if we could trade him for Ghana, no, come on, Charlotte. No, man. I don't want to see none of them brothers in jail. I don't either. But if we had a choice, choice. Yeah. if I could, if if I could write DA Willis a letter. <laughs> I just, you know what, I, you know, you know the, that that crew she talking about right there. I got a real problem with people that do home invasions, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm not. And it's because they like invade somebody's privacy. And you know what? So you can't not only that, that way. they've actually been targeting women. A lot of yes. women in their selfish. houses that have been getting broken. Celebrity women too, influencer mm. yes, women. They would yes. come for y'all in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Oh, but see, that's why I said I'm not moving. I like I live in a high rise, and I'm not moving somewhere that doesn't have concierge mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah. Security, twenty four right. hour security, because it's just too crazy. Our gated community or something. Right. Right, I mean, but right. I feel like even with the gated communities, most of these women yeah, be living in gated they be communities. they trailing the cars and stuff. Mm -hmm. like, they be putting trackers in people's cars. They said the trackers, and they say they, they they monitor social media heavy. Right. They, they watch y'all. They see what y'all are driving. They see what y'all are wearing. They see the money y'all take out the bank. I be yeah. telling mm -hmm. people, don't post until you really leave a spot. Right, right. And a lot of things, um, women getting dropped off with Uber, too. Like, if you live in a house, you're getting dropped off at mm -hmm. Uber. You don't know, yep. You don't yeah, know a lot of that. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I, yeah, I have a real problem with home invasions, man. I don't have no remorse for people that commit home invasions. Bro. Yeah, that's when a you, little different. When you kick in somebody's door, like I, I, in that case right there, they said somebody kicked in somebody's door. It was a 14-year-old girl, a 15-year-old girl in the shower or something, and they Mm-mm. they put the gun to her and took her downstairs. Oh, man, like, nah, sweet, fuck bro. you. Yeah, bro. yeah. Throw you under the jail. But I feel like people are moving different now. Like, there used to be like a code, I feel like. Like, people didn't mess with kids or right. mess with, you know, older women, things like that. I feel like women in general, yeah, I feel like people are just kind of running crazy right now. So maybe she is right. We need a little more I child just structure. got shot at a- uh, a park in Atlanta uh, I think a couple weeks ago so it's like yeah. like a 7 year old or something like that mm-hmm. so it's like to the point like come on man mm-hmm. um, these kids like they got a whole life ahead of them that's like, right you snatching that away from them on some senseless right. you just shooting right. they ain't right, even right. hitting the person you trying to shoot <laughs> right man. exactly I'm not mad at her Okay, I'm really not mad at her because oh, you support you will vote for Fannie Willis again. <laughs> Here's the thing: <laughs> you I, I want I want us to be smarter as people. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, number one, I don't want us committing any crimes, but I understand like you know the socioeconomic factors that yeah. that, that 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 play a part in the people going to right. a life of crime. But also, if you're gonna commit crimes, I come from the era where you didn't even talk on the phone. Mm-hmm. Nonetheless, get on a record and rap about it. Right. Nonetheless, right. get on social media and record right. it and tell her they go live when they do it. The yeah. <laughs> hey, God damn! Mm-hmm. When you you asking to go to jail, and if somebody is that bold, it's like man, you gotta get them off the street. Bro, social right. media is like evil. It's a drug. Yeah, it's like it's like the devil. Like they'll make a YouTube vlog about doing it. Lex was telling me about put the, put the mic to closer to you. Oh, mm-hmm. Lex was telling me about. Wasn't you telling me about somebody had tried to snatch Asian doll chain? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. um, a girl tried to snatch her chain and. To me, like, first of all, you look bummy. Like, yeah. that's weird behavior. And then, like, she tried to take a picture with her. Like, she was acting like she was the fan. Mm-hmm. But after all of it happened, she literally gets on live and was like, yeah, it was me. I tried to snatch her chain. It's like... I saw like, that. Why it's so posting? weird. Like, wh- and, like, she was boasting about it. Like, she yeah. was happy. And she and the thing is, like, she got beat up. Like, her security, like, <laughs> you got beat up. Like, and why are you... Saying, and she like, was I very happy. Where's she from? Well, uh, I don't know. Did. I thought oh, she was from know. Texas. Yeah, I think it did uh-uh. happen in Texas. She ain't one Texas. of those. No, she I'm saying I think it other. happened in Texas. I don't know where the girl was from, but I think it. Oh, so yeah, maybe she was. Texas. I don't know, but it was just <laughs> very, very. But look, it wasn't. You know, we always say it's a big difference between Dallas and Houston. Hey, so. so you think it was a Dallas? It was probably it was a Dallas, Dallas girl. <laughs> yeah. What does this mean, Dallas and Houston? Mm. It's a lot of differences. First of all, them niggas be jigging and dancing. <laughs> Houston niggas do not. You done Houston been to Dallas, Charlemagne? Hell yeah, I love Dallas. Oh, they, 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 be, they, they be jigging. They the whole time. Everybody got the mullet. What's yes, the thing called? What's it called? Yeah. The booty. That's what it's the called. Shag, they call shag. it the booty. The yeah. booty. Nah, they yeah, don't they, call it the booty. No, they yeah, did. They used to call it. They used to call it. They did call don't it. Don't nobody go to no barbershop and say, I want a booty. <laughs> Are you from Texas? <laughs> but I'm saying, I know nobody don't ask for a booty. <laughs> yes, they were. I was like, give me that booty. <laughs> <laughs> so you asking the barber that without saying, Paul. <laughs> give me that booty, Paul. Give me that booty. Oh, my God. Why he cut your hair? You got to say, Paul. So they got the booty. They do the jigging. They wear leather shorts. Okay. I mean, yes. Dallas women yes. fun, though. Like, they cool. I mean, no, I, I will say, I don't really feel like with the women, it's a huge difference. Yeah. Do you think so? No, I don't think so. I, I think, think it's more so the guys. Yeah, the guys is a big, it's a big difference. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. worlds apart. Easy but. to scan? Mm, I feel like all men are. And we talk different. Like, Dallas <laughs> people, to me, sound like St. Louis people. Yes, they do, because they, they say her. her, her yeah. Or with her. yeah, they do. It's a shame that y'all be looking at men and saying, that's a good duck. That's, That's a, a come up. Sweet uh, lick. A sweet I lick. I mean, I feel like some men do look at women like that. I feel like women are just, we just now catching up on the game. Really? Yeah. And I'm not, and when I say women, I mean like black women, because the white women been knowing. And the Latino. And the, they been years ahead of us with Explain this. Explain this now. Um, I just feel like when it comes to like marriage Being reasons, grown. And you know, like, I went to an all-white school growing up. Mm-hmm. Like, I seen a lot of my classmates, you know, marrying straight out of high school. Like, older guys, you know, that were financially stable. And that's what their moms was, like, telling mm-hmm. them to do. And, okay. you know, things like that. So, I feel like, you know, as black women, we aren't raised like that. We're raised to be independent. Yeah. Take care of yourself, you know. You don't need no man for nothing. And they're not raised like that. So, us being like, okay, 
let's have a man that is financially stable that can provide and be we're late on that now we gold diggers now we're gold it's labeled as gold diggers now because if a white girl goes get a man with money it's like ooh she's smart she did she that she, as soon as like a black woman does it oh she's a gold digger well are you gonna talk back hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> All that come with it too, no? I wait, I wait. I don't want that. I don't like no submissive woman, man. I like At all? I, no, I like I like a woman to like just be down for me. You know what I mean? Like I'm a ride. Like I, my wife rides for me. Like I, me, I yeah. ride for her, like me. You know like, what I'm saying? She has to have an opinion. I, she got to have an opinion. I, I do not like no woman Somebody that don't have like, nothing to say. Yeah, just agreeing with everything you say. Just no. going along with it. But your it. wife was strong from the beginning. Like yes. when y'all met. So right. imagine if somebody done made millions and mm-hmm. now. You don't marry somebody now. She telling you what to do with your money, like he, like. like but she could like, be helping you. She could. What if y'all, she that not? could be making. Uh, well, so that's, that's not. That's say, not what I can speak for because yeah, I'm not that type of that's woman. That's why you right. gotta find true love without finances. Mm-mm. Impossible. I don't, <laughs> I don't believe in that. That's terrible advice. Impossible. <laughs> terrible advice. That's the my, worst thing you ever it, said. Yeah, that shit you do when you young. When you young, like I, I, I've been blessed to you know me and my wife been together since high school. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's different. But when you get. Older the positions y'all in right now, y'all ain't gonna find no damn true love. Right. Without no finances being attached. They looking all of y'all, all three of y'all licks. Cause I can tell you right now, I ain't gonna be happy. <laughs> what? Love. Why you don't speak that into that? <laughs> I'm not gonna you, be happy with just power love. In the tongue, bro. With, the, oh, with just with love. With just love, okay, absolutely okay. not with him. Charlamagne, and just ask her how many times she'd be like, he had money, but he was corny. Oh, I love that's, that's all she talking because about. Because money don't uncorn you, you still Mr. Corn. <laughs> you still on the call. You still call. a popcorn. You, you still, still on, on the call. call. So what do you need with them? Okay, let me ask you this then. He don't have the money, but he got everything else. He's smart. He funny. He look good. I would never Dick find big out. with a curve in it. Not a curve. I would never yeah. find out about that curve. Not, what? See, that don't make no sense. It got to be an equal balance. Because you might help him come up. That might be the dude you bring into your life and he be like, man, let me manage you. And he be the best manager in the world. And then y'all come up together. Mm. Please name me one situation that. where the the husband to manage the wife and that worked out. Aretha Franklin movie. <laughs> <laughs> and that worked out, people. I mean, there's a lot of situations where it worked out. Depending on what you're saying. Aretha Franklin is a good example. Oh, Even though, God. you know, uh, what's his name? Ted. I think his name was Ted. Who? Yeah. Ted ended up being abusive. Uh, Marlon Ted, Wayans played that. The he hell did. Out that I role. just watched that this weekend. It's crazy, ironically. Same thing with um Ike Turner. Ike Turner was abusive. Yeah. But that did so not again, work out. When did it work out? That did not work out. <laughs> Would you know you Tina Turner? You gotta have your escape. definition of work out. Would you know Tina Turner? Oh my gosh. I feel like that was in her. Points were made. I but... mean, no, what I'm saying is maybe the story, her storyline would have been different, but you're, she's always going to be, you know, Tina Turner. That ain't in the co- We don't know, but here's we, the thing. I mean, I, yeah. Do y'all, believe, do, y'all, do y'all believe in God? Of course. Mm-hmm. Do y'all believe everything happens for a reason? Absolutely. Everything. Absolutely. So clearly, Ike came into her life for a reason. And Ike got her on the the, the, the path to being the superstar that, that that she ended up being. At least at least laid the foundation. Why he be her? Because he's a sick psychopath. But even, even still, he still laid the foundation for her to become the Tina Turner that we know now. And and you, you don't, man, what would love got to do with it be without that without relationship? The pain. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Without the pain, man. I just feel like <laughs> in most I, situations... It's just not ideal, you know, but I get what you're saying because me now, like, I'm not going to lie, like younger me, it used to be like, oh, he got to have millions and that's it. And I don't want to talk to him now. It's like, I don't mind growing and building with somebody, but you have to have something, you know, you have to have something going on. I feel like that's really ideal for me right now. Like, I want to grow and build with somebody. What? For all the finesse and you done did in your past. Ooh, what? It's no, not, though. See, they don't want to speak on that. But no, but it's, you know what it is, though? It's not like I was out here <laughs> looking for niggas to finesse. Right, you approaching me. Lie. I was not looking for I niggas I never was at the club was... like, ooh, let me go get him, <laughs> girl. There you go. That was a lie. Look, look no Charlamagne way. over there. Let's go get him, girl. It wasn't on, like I that. Don't believe you like, <laughs> I don't believe you. You got a web. You a spider. Oh, you my God. You like Charlotte's like, web. You put that web out and you're like, he going to walk over here. He going to walk over as soon as you walk over, he just run right into the web. You got that's it. Your own fault. That's you true. walked over here. Uh, I didn't tell you to walk over here. You came over with here. Caution. Come at your own reason. Wow. wow. But I said it's the same thing. Like, I feel like all the situations, whatever, they knew they, what they was getting into. That ain't true. Yes, it is. I mean, they might know now because of the podcast. I I'm did weak. not know you was gonna cheat. <laughs> <laughs> no, see? Now that's another topic, <laughs> now. That's your real friend right there. Dre be keeping you on point. <laughs> 
soon as you get just a little bit delusional, she be reminding you of who you are. Who I was. I told y'all I'm an untouched queen now. I have changed. I'm a different person. You didn't answer the question, though. Do you feel like that's your karma? No, I feel like my dating life is what it's supposed to be. I don't have a bad dating life. I don't really don't feel the karma because you know what? It's not like I was out here just hoeing niggas and stealing and doing this. Like, no, it was like you're giving me gifts. You're taking care of me and doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. I know. You know, that, that, because you wanted to. I ain't never begged nobody or try to trick nobody or had to lie to get money out of somebody. It was just like, if you want to do that for me, I'm going to let you. I know yeah. a lot of men like you, Lex. You a nigga. Let me I tell am. you something. I know men... <laughs> who act like they like the girl and every girl they meet is their girlfriend and I love you. I'm weak. I do I got that. a future together. Man, you That's the real you. Huh? You the real huh? That's, That's you. Huh? That's you. Uh, you definitely but I like ready to hop I will say right this no but because if I'm with you and in the moment I'm not saying I don't know if I'm going to like you next month I don't know yeah. but in this moment <laughs> I like you and I'm going to make you feel good and you done got your <laughs> shit paid for a month or two like, I mean how you, how you break the news to somebody okay first of all I feel like certain niggas don't be fucked up about that little money they be spending that's what I'm saying like, and, that's and that's they don't the be fucked up, up I'm not going to okay. lie like during the pandemic for example like I had a job I wasn't working and the guy I was dealing with at the time, you know, he had to pay all my bills, you know, and that's what it was. But like, that's just what he's supposed to do. That's just what he was supposed to do. But it's like, and we didn't work out, but it's not like, oh, I'm going to get karma for that. I don't really believe in karma. I don't, I'm not going to get karma for that. That was the person I was dating. Tell me what you think about karma. I I, I don't, I, I agree with you to a certain extent about karma. Not believing in it, but go ahead. What, what do you think? Because I feel like fucked up things gonna happen to people regardless. True. I've known some really, really amazing people, and it just seems like they just can't catch a break. Mm. I know some really shitty people who be living amazing lives, <laughs> and it's living. it seems that they really don't. I mean, I'm not saying I don't it's know. Skip generation sometimes. <laughs> so them real good people, they parents were some fucked up people. Mm. I'm you weird. really feel like that? Like, I'm just talking shit on you. you think Andrea and Lex uh, great grandkids not gonna have their amazing? Oh, babies? they they gonna catch. They, <laughs> they gonna, gonna have catch no hell. I ain't gonna, gonna be here. They gonna kick hell. Fuck kids. I don't give they a fuck. They gonna kick hell. You don't you want your, your great grandkids to have, to have, to have no idea. you on your own. They gonna watch these good luck, y'all. Shit, Loretta left me. I'm on my own shit. Who is Loretta? My grandma. She gone. <laughs> shit. What you mean she gone? She passed away? Yeah. God damn, Lex. <laughs> what? She probably still wanted to be here. She didn't want to die. <laughs> but I'm saying I'm on my own. Damn. I have to figure it out. Them little niggas gonna have to figure it out. I, I think calm is. A, I think calm is about action. Calm is your your actions on a regular basis. Like I think every day, every moment, we're creating karma in that exact moment. Right. I don't right. believe you do something bad yesterday and then something right. five years from now, something Right, bad but if your actions agree, are continuously, yeah. you know, yes. doing... Yeah, I can agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, I don't think, like, oh, you did something fucked up to this person, you gonna get hit by a car or some shit. <gasps> now, why you had to go there I too just, soon? It, it, it was the first man. thing that... Hey, it was the first thing that... I got, hit by, I got hit by a car. It was the first thing I got hit by a car. But I don't think that happened because of anything you did. I'm telling you. The truth unfolded. What kind of car was it? It was... Um, a GT it was no, a Camaro. Camaro. It was a Camaro. Is that the same car the guy bought you and you left him? No. It, you actually, it was kind of the same. Oh, no, it was either. you who had the range. Somebody yeah, but I, I had the challenger that, you know. Okay. But either way it goes, I was crossing the street. I was in Dallas. This was what, a month and a half ago? Yeah, well, this was recent. It was yeah, this July. was recent. It was recent. And I'm not going to lie. People, you can say what you want about surgery. The BBL saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> the car was more damaged than I was. That's a fact. The Explain. BBL. No, it, the floor is yours, Lex. I mean, it, I mean, it just was what it was. I was crossing oh the street, and Coming I thought I could make it. I sped up a little bit. Booty was bouncing. Titty was going everywhere. <laughs> and somebody said my name, and I think I stopped like an idiot and turned around, and the car just hit me. And I was like on the ground. That was a setup. We was all like, like five, was like, five heartbeats. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just sitting there like, did that really just happen? You hit the ground? Yes, I was on the ground. She was walking the and then ground. all of a sudden she went down and I was like. <gasps> oh, you saw it? I was there. Yeah, she was, was, was there. there. Chad too. was there. <laughs> Y'all saw the a, car? Charlemagne, it was a Illuminati Chad don't give a fuck. Chad sleep. <laughs> Chad like, man, I don't give a fuck, but she Chad, alive. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it was, you said it was an Illuminati hit. Yeah. I'm Damn, weird. Damn, girl, you tried to sacrifice Lex for your yeah, own Man. Hughes Beauty did just drop. Yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what? Man, you did that for the, the lip gloss? Of course not. She the one, God. She the one who called Lex. Like she was like, Lex. Lex turned boom. <laughs> and she saw, she saw Lex get up. She said, what the fuck? 
<laughs> this bitch <laughs> tough. How fast was, was the car going? Like, um, he wasn't happy. going extremely fast, but he was like, you know, it was a little speed on. I really don't know, but. I don't know. I just got to I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, I was pretty bruised up, but I had a show the she next day. She did a day. show the next day. The next day. Our, show, our live show was the next day. Tell me how the BBL saved your life. Um, Because my booty, it was back there. And the car was like, whoa. Oh, it's like she oh, kind of so bounced hit you, off hit the car. Yeah, it like, it, well, it hit my hip on this side. Yeah. But I had a little cushion back there. Like I said, I know that and somebody... That Camaro, the truck was... Folded in. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now you wasn't even man. there. Shut up. <laughs> he, yeah, he wasn't even there. He didn't come. I don't hang out day. with him, dog. Oh, really? <laughs> I, they, they stay in some shit. Really? really? I'm not gonna lie. What? Every time we go to the city, something happened. Like it's no. always just it is uh, always something happening. It is not, always like so. It's like a black cloud, man. Hey, no, not yeah. a black cloud. I don't put that on them, but <laughs> don't talk about me. Maybe y'all got root on you or something. No, I don't. I won't Karma. say a black cloud. <laughs> <Karma. laughs> That's why this is why Karma. they don't do that to me. I, nothing be happening to me. I've always just been like a person in some shit though. Like <laughs> things just happen to me. But it like, only happens after three Tito. It is not. Yes, after exactly. three Tito. When you see it's on that always, third Tito, Charlemagne, you better you know, go. You, y'all might want to go home. You that person, Lex? Don't be that person. I mean. I'm really not though. Okay, like okay. I have, like I. Of course, we've all had our party days, and trust me, I have calmed down a lot. Mm-hmm. I used to work in the strip club, so I feel like I had my moments of, you know, crazy. But I've calmed down a lot. Yeah, I've calmed down a lot. I'm, a, I'm a fun girl. A wild girl. I love it. Mm. We gonna have a good time. And you know what's crazy, Charlamagne? When I oh, got yeah. up, the first thing I was like, "Damn, so we ain't going to the club?" Yeah, fake. I was like, "Damn, niggas, the vibe was gone." Oh, do you? I'm 33. All right, it's about time to hang it up. Oh, I've been hung it up. I okay. told you that. Okay. Oh, I am done. I mean, it's about time to hang up just going to the club for the sake of being Oh, in the club. no, no, no. That's yeah. what I'm saying. The only time we really go out is like if we have a show or something. Like That's when right. I'm in Atlanta, people don't ever see me. I'm really not a going out type of person. Yeah. Like Drea knows, like she'd be like, what you doing, girl? I'm I'm going to bed. Yeah. Like I don't, auntie, Look I'm old. He's <laughs> over there I wouldn't, I wouldn't go nowhere neither. They trying I to kill me when I leave the house. Nah, no, see, where, now, don't say that. When you got ran over. Um, we was in Dallas. I don't know. We was downtown. We were about to go out. We was leaving our hotel. Mm-hmm. And you still don't know who was calling you? It no, I know who said my name. It was <laughs> not was, me. But it wasn't like... Lex! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> are you named after the Lexi? Y'all are wild. No, actually, my last name is Lexi. Oh, So people okay. always just call me by my last name. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I seen Drill go to cash up and send somebody some money. How you say anything when you wasn't there? Nav is so messy. How much so it cost for that? How much it cost oh for a hit and run, bro? That's a little like How much you ran you? Y'all are not gonna slip my <laughs> Only thing I respect, Dre didn't go rap about it. Oh man, you know, this story reminds me of y'all two poor minds. Um what? a woman dumps her boyfriend after winning the lottery. Mood. Lo- <laughs> Heard the whole story. I don't care. Laura Ooh. is 40, Kirk is 39. They lived together under an agreement that Hoyle didn't pay any bills and only used her money to purchase lottery tickets. However, after winning the bet for life jackpot last March, Steven said his ex girlfriend decided to claim the three, 3.6 million, actually 4.2 million for herself and live in the five bedroom house they purchased together. Additionally, he planned the what, Taylor Scroll down? Additionally, he planned the proposed to her and even took lengths to ask her parents for permission. At the time of the home purchase, Hoyle only put a 10% down payment. Now, that's fucked up, man. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Hearing that that perspective of it, like, you know, he was paying all the bills at yeah. first, and it's like, you can't you can't turn your back on your day ones. Like, that's a little... That's yeah, a little that's I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. That's you, a little... You give him a little something before I y'all leave. But yeah, but even if I do want to leave, yeah. like if I got $4.2 million and it's like, you've been doing all this for me, I'll chunk you a little, you know, I'll give you a little $1,000. They were thousand? white. <laughs> they were white. <laughs> a little thousand. Wow. A thousand. I, I, I give them like 200K. Yeah, I'm just playing. Yes, out of 4.2 million, give them the point two. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'll give them... It's strict in here. Were they white? You know, you know. Probably. It probably was white. Yeah. So damn it, y'all really don't care about love at all. No, I'm just saying. the love of your life. No, I do. I'm trying. No, I'm to saying I would stay there. with him, like if I wanted to be with him. But if I just like was staying with him because he was paying the bills and I yeah. didn't want to leave, then yeah, I'll give you like 200k and I'm gonna be on my way. I need more details to the story. Let me see. Like, do they have kids? No Mm-mm, kids. No kids. I would have had to get a print. She was buying the new. <laughs> <laughs> But technically, it's supposed to be y'all lottery ticket. Yeah, like we together, we married. 
Does that even work for guys when guys impregnate it, women it, that it, got money? I ain't never heard of that story. I feel like niggas be trapping women too. Really? Yeah. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Who? What man do we know trapped a woman mm. and mm. came up because they got a, a rich woman pregnant? I could think of some. Who? I'm not saying. You got to give an example. You got to give us an example. Mm-hmm. At least one. I mean, well, who you thinking? <sighs> who? You said, you said Bow Wow. Who he trapped? Who he trapped? Bow Wow had the check. Yeah, but he wrote, because you know everyone that like, got his girl after Future got his girl next. Like, Man, Future got nothing to do Future with nothing. Future got a yeah. few well, I will say this. Yeah. I'll say this. I feel like this is not a situation where he got her pregnant because she uh-huh. doesn't have kids. But yeah. I feel like we only know who Stedman is because of Oprah. Like, he oh, came yeah. up because of Oprah. He did. No, oh, man. Bro, y'all Stedman tripping. was a lawyer, man. Bro, Trent was Stedman was that nigga. Yes, he uh, was. I'm not saying that he wasn't, but he... No, but, Stedman was that he nigga. Was. Like, he, he invested in Oprah. Okay, but I'm saying, like... Oprah is the the main person. Like oh, we know now. who he is. Dog. You know what I'm saying? Stepman, like quiet as kept. He got some uh, uh, stock in TV One, BET. Like he doing yeah, his and Tito. No, no, I'm not saying that Stepman was a bum or anything. That's not what I'm, I'm just saying. But I'm saying. Shit. I don't know. What I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> now, I see how he lied. See how he lied. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that he's a bum or anything. But I'm saying it was beneficial for him to stick around not and be with really. Oprah. No, because he's not in the limelight. Like he yeah. don't. Stepman don't like being in front yeah. of the camera. Right, so he don't gotta. He just gotta be at home, make us some greens and peas. Man, Stepman and got his own life. So feet. Stepman is a. It was a, a renowned lawyer before he. Uh, Got got with a uh, right, but who wants to work? He ain't got to work no more. Stedman killing that shit. So let me ask y'all a question. Now. He ain't got to work. <laughs> He's chilling. Being that y'all are making money now, right, and y'all doing well, do you have to have a guy with money? Yes. If I was broken, I had to have a guy with money. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have to have one now. Because it's your time to give back. <laughs> give back to who? That baby, but this is not he charity. Broke, he broke. He not the nigga I need to be giving back <laughs> the, to because that's not who I was dating. The only reason I'm accepting this from y'all, <laughs> the only reason I'm accepting this from y'all is because y'all do have something going on. <laughs> There's a lot of nothing ass women out here hey. that's not doing nothing, don't got nothing, but always asking, saying what they want. Hey. They want you work. Uh, right. We was. You got to bring something to the table. Not nothing. Now, we did not, not ask you. Well, I didn't, <laughs> we we did not ask he you. He used more adjectives than not. But I'm saying y'all me, was we once definitely, you know, in that, that we, pool. We weren't meeting the criteria. Right. So we weren't. Right. Right. things that right. we wanted. Right. Okay. Okay. But y'all always wanted those things. Hey. Yeah, but I think we understand things a little, a lot differently now. Yeah. Like I said, we've grown and we've changed like our opinions on things aren't so like harsh and like, oh, you have to have this because yes, you have to have money, but there's also a long list of other things that are before the money that yeah. I require. I feel like... I didn't say well, before, we, but you know. Well, you know what I'm saying, but I feel like, they well, for me, lose. for me personally, I feel like the first thing was like, oh, does he have money? I don't care what, does he have money? Now it's like, okay, are you a good person? Can you hold a conversation? True. You know, can I bring you around my family? That's you know, right. are you family oriented? Are you know, are you, you God fearing? Yeah. Like things like that. And then it's like, okay, and then let's get into do I trust you financially? Can you know we have conversations about business and money? Bro, you know, so it's kind of criteria that is, and a man don't even want that much. I mean, Just be that's cool, cool. Cook, cook and look good. <laughs> and but that's why y'all be fucked up. <laughs> I want a sm- I want a smart woman. I want a woman. Yeah, that's, you want- should. Yeah. You cool. should I'll have a criteria. Cool. Yeah, I'm saying that ain't you, on his list. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But that's cool why y'all be smart. <laughs> that's y'all ain't got no criteria. Like uh, that's I, bad. You gotta know how to hold a conversation to be that's cool. Right. Yeah. That's right. I'm weak, and I want a woman that's gonna help me level up. Like I gotta rise to her. Level right, well. right, even, right. Even if it ain't about financials, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Just like, just her as a human, she mm-hmm. makes you a better right, person. Right, a better yeah. person, absolutely. I, I think that's really important. That's a very if, important. Do y'all think y'all do that? Yeah. What? Make men better. Mm-hmm. Fuck no. <laughs> what? Fuck no. Lynn, you just asking them questions to be nice. You can tell they don't make, they don't care. They don't care what happens to the nigga. And that's where the shit gotta stop. <laughs> They don't give a fuck about the nigga what goes on, what happens to him. Oh, I'm weak. But you want to make sure he's like to meet your family. <laughs> what you going to do to meet his family? You don't give a damn. He got a point. That is no, not but that's, that is definitely not, well, not true at wrong. all. Let me hear No, because I feel like, you know, 
I'll use my last situation for example. My last relationship since I can't say situation. You, I don't know why you say situation? That's so disrespectful. It was a. I'm so, that's not disrespectful. That's why y'all broke up because you wasn't claiming him. That's I do. Up. I did claim him. No, that man, was my man. Eat your ass and you calling him a situation. I'm dead. You know what? <laughs> but no, I feel like for us, <laughs> things would be like. I feel like we. I had to learn how to be a better friend, and he did too. Too like. For us to get along and have good communication, we had to let go of that romance in some moments. So it's like I had to teach him how to be a good friend because if you don't care about me on a friend level with no respect, the love is not ever going to even come. So I feel like that's what, how we kind of helped each other like grow like as friends because we had no friendship for a while. You know what I'm saying? That's your fault. I mean, it probably was. Because you didn't approach it from being friends to begin with. I definitely did it. That's what I'm saying. Your gauge is like, I wanted you got him. money. What you mean? You wanted him how? Financially? No, I just wanted him. You, that's it. I just want him. Yeah, like I wanted him. And it was just like, I mean, I met him when I was like 26. So it was all physical attraction. Yeah, at first it was like okay. physical. I just liked, I liked how he moved. I liked everything about him. It's like, then we were just like dealing with each other. And then it was like, okay, wait. This is like growing into something a little more. And I think we had to kind of stop and learn how to be friends to each other because we actually started caring about each other. So I feel like for me, that's something that I took from that relationship that I know I'm going to use in the future. Like mm -hmm. help men be better friends to women. A lot of times men don't know how to be good friends to women. And if you can't be a good friend to a woman, you're definitely not going to be a good lover to her. Did you know this guy now? No. Would you have warned him? I would have told him. <laughs> I think it's important to build the friendship first. Like any serious yes. situation, yes. I mean, yes. they were my friend before yeah. I got in a relationship yes. with them. I don't really hop into relationships. Like, I do, but because I think the red flags be there. If you be somebody friend long enough, you gonna see the red flags mm -hmm. before you even get in a relationship with them. But I think that it's important to be just cool and peaceful and that's not but that's that's kind of when it works. Because then if y'all separate, you done lost your friend and your your person. I find another friend. No, not always. I'm see, that's, see, that's I'm the problem. Y'all be talking about fumbling bags a lot, but we be fumbling good people. people right. That's you know true. what I'm saying? You can. Mm. It's more value in relationships and knowing a good person. Yeah. I ain't never did that, but I do feel like you can. How many friends y'all had in y'all life? Like real friends that you, I mean, you, you know, even to this day, you can count on them. I'm each still other. friends with them. Yeah, I've had this, like one of my, my closest core. friends, I've been friends with her for like over 20 years. And you wouldn't. Trade that relationship for the world. Yeah, no, absolutely not. No That's, amount of money. Nothing. Yeah. I billion. love her. A billion. Hold on See? now. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Damn, yeah, it's strict in this bitch. My four, so. I have four friends that I'm really, really close to, and I've been friends with all of them for a really long time, like since I was like 19, 15. And you wouldn't trade those relationships for the not. world. No, no, Friendship is very important. Mm -hmm. One thing you said that's very true, men and women. Like, if you meet a person, you want to be cool with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah I mean, yeah. it's a person that's you important. down with every night. Yeah, I couldn't see myself just hopping into a relationship after meeting somebody because we like, oh, we like each other right. so much. Like, you have to build that connection with somebody before you get with them. But I think that's a part of, like, dating that I had to go through, too. Like, I know I joke and I play a lot, but I feel like now in my life, I just have so much going on. I went through a lot this year. Mm -hmm. So I feel like for me, I don't even need um, necessarily like a boyfriend right now. Like I think if anything, I would be looking for like that friendship in somebody mm -hmm. like because I'm busy. So I feel like mm -hmm. I couldn't even be a good partner right now to mm -hmm. somebody to be honest. Like I'm busy. But I think a lot of times I didn't recognize that in myself. Like, oh, I can't be a good girlfriend to him, but oh, I'm gonna do it anyway because this is what we're gonna do. You right. know, but I think for now I can recognize that I'm not ready for a relationship and I could have a good friendship with somebody right now. For Charlamagne, sure. you and your wife, y'all still real good friends? Like, y'all laugh, yeah. joke? That's my homie. You That's know what good, I mean? Man. We laugh, we joke, get high together, and I know that. laugh right. about did nothing. Right. That's that's my partner part. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's how I imagine marriage. If I that's how it's supposed to be. Like my friend, but you can't sure. stop dating you. You can't stop dating your significant other. Right. You know what facts. I'm saying? It's like you you got to still do the things that y'all did so you when y'all was younger. still flirting all that way. All that shit. I'm always grabbing her ass. Still eat ass. <laughs> so like, I'm glad you said that because you said I still eat ass. Yeah, <laughs> I, still, I, still care, I still care about like making sure the sex is where it needs to be. I know, that's right. That's why that's been clear. Like, y'all right. like, go somewhere, like you'll meet her somewhere, y'all act like y'all don't know each other. All the time. I did that earlier this week. We was in... <laughs> <laughs> we was in Kiowa Island this week. I had a whole reenactment going in my mind. Ooh. So y'all be role playing and shit. Role playing. I told I said, I told you if you, you ever need come to change your name to Steven. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I did. I told her, I said, I told you, if you ever come around here again, I said, if I catch your little ass around here, you know what was going to happen, didn't I? Oh, hey, no, you, you see. You need to change. You have an alias. You got to keep it spicy. See, yes. see the free. Yes. See the free. I'm just saying, you got to keep, Freaky you man. never stop dating yeah. the woman that you love. You know, when that, mm-hmm. when that spark goes out, it's over. Right. right, I no. agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Charlotte might probably be too deep in character. She probably, hey, hey, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> we know he's <laughs> gonna choke me. <laughs> <laughs> Let your motherfucking ass die. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's pay some bills, man. Oh, wow. okay. Uh, most in course. Summer is full of official events like weddings, graduations, and annual 4th of July barbecues. But everyone knows the best parts of summer are the unofficial ones. This summer, Coors Light is the official beer of everything unofficial, celebrating those moments that truly make summer chill. The weekend is officially Saturday and Sunday. Unofficially, it's Friday afternoon, too. Summer is officially the warmest time of year. Unofficially, it's the chillest. Okay? There's only one beer out there that's literally made to chill, and that's Coors Light. The mountains on the bottles and cans even turn blue when your beer is cold. That way, you always know when it's time to chill. When you need to hit reset, just open the Coors Light. It's mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Coors Light is cold laggard, cold filtered, and cold packaged. It's literally made to chill. It's as crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies, perfect for a moment to unwind. Summer chill starts with Coors Light. To check out what Coors Light has going on this summer, visit CoorsLightSummer.com. That's Cause Light. Celebrate responsibly. Cause Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Uh, let's do some church announcements. This is this part of the show where uh, whatever y'all got coming up, you know, y'all tell us what it is. Poor Minds, I know y'all on tour. Yes, yes we're, we're on, on tour. tour. We're, we're headed to Arlington. Arlington, yes. Tampa, Orlando, and Miami. Miami. Miami yes. What are the dates? Y'all got the dates? Um, yes. Yeah, they're Hold in October. Yeah. Phones. October 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's going to be the Miami, the Miami run. So I'm super excited about that. Then mm-hmm. we actually go to Arlington on, let me see, let me pull Have it up. Have the shows been selling out? Uh, yeah, so 18. some of them have. Yeah, but we be having a lot of people. I feel time. like, yeah, it's like it's been like crowds of like five hundred plus. Like 500, we can we can do five hundred. Like that's gonna yeah. be our number, you know. So mm-hmm. I feel like for our first tour, that's pretty good. Like mm-hmm. you know, it's been amazing. Um, Drea just dropped her beauty line. Yes, I did. You Let know, me see that lip gloss. yes, it's beautiful. I-, I wanted to ask you, how much does it cost to like put out your own lip gloss? It just depends. It depends on how many that you're going to get. Because I got mine from overseas. Like, I okay. use the um, wholesale vendor. Mm. What's the website for it? It's musebeautycollection.com. And I have lip glosses and lip liners. And, you know, eventually I'm going to come out with some more stuff. I really want to get into all things beauty and all things cosmetic. So, foundations, concealers, you know, mascara. Mm-hmm. Eventually I want to come out with skincare products. So, yeah. Have they been doing well? I just launched it today. Oh, today? Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Word, word, but it's word. doing pretty well. You know, I keep getting them dings on Shopify. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> make sure you go to poorminds.com. Yes, poorminds.com. That's where you can find our merch. We have so much stuff. Like I said, we're on tour. And if you miss this tour, we're going to be going on tour again next year. So, yep. yeah, we have a lot of stuff. Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all feel pressure, right? Because the first time I heard y'all was on the 85 South Show. Mm-hmm. And you know, they, they live podcast shit is incredible. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do y'all feel pressure? Like when you go watch them and then you're like, damn, now we out on this stage. Um, I think the first time we did. Yeah, I think the first time we saw them, we were like, oh my God, this is what we have to live up to. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I think now, like, having so many conversations with them and seeing how they work, we kind of know, like, these people that come to Poor Mind Show, they're not here to see Carlos or see DC or right. see Chico. They're there for us. Right, right, right. So we get to go on stage and just be us and, and they they enjoy being there. So I think that's something that we learned with the tour. So yeah. now I don't feel a lot of pressure. Mm-mm, it was fun. a little at first though. Yeah, it was at first. Because we didn't know what to do and yeah. we felt like, you know, we're not comedians. You know, right. like, we just you like to be ourselves. Time. Yeah, we just get yeah. to be ourselves. So that's what we do now. Before I ask Nav what he got coming up, um, speak to how beneficial it is to have men around y'all that's just supporting y'all and not trying to fuck y'all. You yeah, know what I mean? I mean, that's yeah. really important. Yeah. It's really important for sure. But I, I also... Think that people think that it's impossible to have those right. type of relationships in this industry, and it's not. It. Right. And also, I think a lot of times... I say this all the time, especially like how we look or whatever. People think that that's how we got here. Right. And it's going to be like stories coming out later. Like, oh, she ain't. fucked this person. It's not. And that's not like we really got here because of our talent. And we have learned so much. And I feel like I know 
sometimes we can be a little emotional with things, but we have learned how to be business women and be logical and go into situations with like a business mind. You know, we learned how to maneuver because we learned there's a lot of weirdos in this industry. There's a lot of weird people, you know? So I kind of feel like we kind of have like some big brothers like in like a protection a little bit. Yeah, who have been doing this for a long time. So, you know, I think a lot of things have been really beneficial for us because like certain stuff like, you know, knowing to put money to the side for your taxes Mm -hmm. and different things like that. Lex and I wouldn't have known that if we were just doing everything on our own. Um, right. So it's been really, really helpful. No, y'all doing your thing. I was talking to somebody this week and they said he was going to holler at y'all about uh, some TV stuff. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah. They might already holler at Chad. I don't know. But they definitely said they're going to holler at y'all about Yeah, we definitely have a lot of stuff yeah, in the works that, that, we're are, the, yeah, that we're working on ourselves mm-hmm. to do, get into the TV world. So we're excited. Word. What you got, Nav? Uh, <clears throat> I got some dates coming up in September. Uh, Greensboro, Charlotte. Uh, Greenville, South Carolina. Okay. And Jacksonville, Florida. Right now, the show's sold in. We just trying to... Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, right now. Right now. <laughs> shit ain't moving right now. <laughs> I'm weak. So if you watching this, if you anywhere near them cities... He'll come pick you up. Come, I will come pick you up. And we will drop you off. Uh, and that is crazy. You ain't got to worry about nothing happening to you. You're going to come and have a good time. Oh, man. And we're going to give shirts away. We gonna get... Whatever you got to do to get them there. Yeah. But no, nah, Chad, man, because uh, be, I've been opening up for 85 South and opening oh, up for man. Poor Mind. So Chad was like, man, it's time for you to start doing your show. So I was like, yeah, soon I'll be ready. Like a week later, he had sent me so many dates. I'm like, I said in a minute, like not. Oh, he don't like. Wait a minute, you just started doing stand up now? No, 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 no. I'm saying going on two on my own. Oh, got you, got you, got you. So he was saying like doing like that, but like so it's like now we we getting the rolling. So finna see how it is because it's different because like you know with 85 South would be a full crowd. Yeah. With poor minds, it's a full crowd. Man, I'm seeing my little tickets trickle in every day. <laughs> Shut yeah. up, man, that's interesting. You said that because you know the baby. Everybody was on the baby ass because they said New that, Orleans. Yeah, but I think I that's whack that. because we've been watching him sell out shows all around the world. You don't never see those headlines, right? right. right. The one time he don't have a, a, a sellout mm-hmm. crowd, it's odd. I mean, it's hard to sell tickets, it man. Is. It's hard to get people to spend their money Especially to come doing see you. Economic, yeah, like, like yeah. it's hard. So people I mean, don't watch because that's free. I think it's just, yeah. of course. Because of everything that's been going on with him, mm-hmm. a lot of people are unfortunately like kind of praying for his downfall, so they that's like right. to see it. So yeah. I mean, of he just got to drop clap. another song, man. Yeah. He has been, but they be they acting like the oh. music ain't sticking. Mm-mm. I mean, did he let go of that flute yet? What flute? You know the flute <laughs> that plays on all his songs. I be Lizzo with the flute. <laughs> what he do? No, he has the beat. The no, his beats always have like a oh, flute that oh, flute oh, sound. Man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't like so the maybe flute? if he let go of the flute, we'll get back on that. Damn, baby, nothing wrong. Let go of the flute. <laughs> um, my announcement, man, uh, October 8th, uh, in honor of World Mental Health Day, I'm doing my second annual Mental Wealth Expo at the Marriott Marquis, Times Square, New York City, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, for more information, go to www.mentalwealthexpo.com. We haven't announced everybody that's going to be there, but we've announced a few people. Uh, we got Nadra Tawab Glover to offer a set boundaries, fine peace. Of course, Dr. Alfie Breland Noble. Um, Dr. Spirit is going to be there. Uh, we got Wallow, my man Wallow and Shaka Sincor. They have a panel that they're going to be doing about the effects of incarceration on somebody's mental health. And our keynote speakers are um, the great Pastor Torre Roberts and the great Pastor Sarah Jake Roberts. Man. Mm. So it's a free event. Just go to mentalwealthexpo.com, register, and uh, we'll see you on October 8th, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Marriott Marquis mm-hmm. in Times Square. Uh, I want to ask y'all one more thing, man, about Nick Cannon. Mm-hmm. Nick Cannon mm-hmm. just uh, announced that he's got his 10th <laughs> child on the way. Uh, Vivica Fox. Do you have Vivica's comments, Taylor? You seen that New Jersey preschool teacher, um, Nav? No, what happened? No. With the body? Oh, I saw that. Oh, talking about the, te- the female oh, teacher. Yes, oh, yes, Lord. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. They talking about she'd be a distraction to the little boys. I don't think so. <laughs> man, I would be, I would be the best parent at that school, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in the PTA. I mean, little kids don't know. I yeah, think. I'm like, what? And what is she? Hell the mom no. is big. In kindergarten, I knew. 
what do they want her to wear? I knew in kindergarten. Me, we all knew in kindergarten. Yeah. And we all had kindergarten, first grade. Yeah, we all had, had pretty crush. teachers. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, you want to. You know what teacher ugly and what teacher kids. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And she in the right place because she thick like a kindergarten pencil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She right the one you got to I really think it was just you got a whole thing. They was being haters. Ooh. They was hating on the girl. They were. Vivica, tell me what y'all think oh, about these Lord. comments. Okay. All right. Ain't none yeah. of y'all on Wild and Out, any? No. Uh -huh. Okay, so y'all can speak freely. <laughs> yeah. We ain't about to lose some job. <laughs> <laughs> he can't find me. Now, right. they, they coming for you not soon now oh, for Wild and Out. I think. Would you do it? No, nah, I think it's over with for me. I done got old and fat. Man, shut up, man. Jack Thriller on there. I am weak. That, the word is. That's different. You got to have at least one handicap, like on the show. <laughs> now, see? Is that the video? That's not the video, tell. <laughs> like, you know, at the grocery store, they have one. <laughs> he helped them meet their quota. Yeah, you got to meet the quota. <laughs> I just, I don't like it. I, I mean, you know, y'all can be like, well, he got money to set in the third, but the foundation of black families, especially a strong father figure, is needed. Mm -hmm. This isn't a good representation of it, in my opinion. He has an empire. So do you have time for all these kids? I barely, today, I have to be there to take pictures and it's cute. And oh my God, I'm at the birthday party. You know, children deserve a father figure, especially young boys. They need, Positive fa father figures, especially African American, because they black. Just providing a check. I've seen so many people that in the past have dated like athletes and gotten child support. What if he gets hurt? Things happen. Yeah, I wish we get out of the well. He has the money because it's way more than money. What y'all think about that? Um, I mean, I think it's hard. Like, it's really hard to be in multiple places all the time when you right. have that many children mm -hmm. and you have those that many households. Right. So I feel like, yeah, I mean, I feel like he's going to probably do his best to be a good father to the capacity that he can. But, I mean, you can't be there for everything right. all the yeah. time. It'd be different if everybody was in one house, you know, yeah. you could wake up and see all your kids before mm -hmm. you go to work. Like, that's very different. But it's like... That's a lot of different houses that, you know, people don't live in the same state. Yeah. So I just feel like I don't judge people, you know, do what you want to do. But it's very kind of like strange, I'll say. Even that's hard, though. I got four and they all in the same house. Right. And, you know, my, I got a 14 year old, but then the youngest is 11 months. Mm -hmm. So I might be up for a couple hours with the youngest ones and the 14 year old ain't left the room yet. And I forgot she was in there. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It'd be like that. But I'm saying it's easier to maneuver because they're y'all are all in the yeah, same yeah, house. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So even if you're sitting there with the baby and you and the 14 year old are watching a movie together, you're still yeah. spending time with the both of them. So mm -hmm. that's a lot different from having, you know, all these kids being spread out. So yeah. I feel like as far as him having a lot of kids, you know, that's what he wants he wants to do. I'm not judging that, but I guess them just being in different states and different locations yeah. is yeah. is a lot. What do you think now? I feel like it <laughs> you could never please a baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you want seven or eight of them? Because I'm saying if, if if you if you giving them the time, they're going to say you ain't got no money. Mm -hmm. If you giving them the money, like Nick Cannon got the money. money. Yeah. Now you talking about he ain't got time to spend with all of them. How he going to get the money? Yeah, I think the most important oh thing is the time, though. <laughs> Yeah, the time I is very important. Time, time, time is very important. important. And I'm glad y'all said that. And I hope my baby mama watching. Time is important. <laughs> <laughs> you rather spend time than money for I, child support? I try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you said, fuck that. What a money. Oh, oh, oh. Taylor, let's go to some asking idiots. I want to do asking idiots, but I want I want to talk. I'm a, when, after you do asking idiots, I'm going to bring Mouse and Nile in. I want to talk to them about something. Um, just go, go to asking idiots so we can. You didn't want to talk about. What? Topic? What mental health thing? Um, Bill I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some asking idiots. Change with, uh, the plan. Well, Taylor, what, what, what like you got to say now. about it? <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she. Oh, I already said what I had to say. The donkey of the day. I'm over that. It's just I, I just get tired of people. Uh. When somebody says they're dealing with mental health issues, I hate when somebody comes out and be like, that's some bullshit. You just scared. Or mm. you just, how you know what's going on in that person? Right, that's right. true. You know what I mean? And then when they shoot up a school or something or kill themselves, then you're like, oh. Dog, for real, for people mm -hmm. now to speak out on it, like, that's, 
that's strong yes. and take courage. That's now, anyway, too, yeah. but yeah, it used to be a time where it was black stigmatized, people, especially yeah. black people. That's like, right. You know, you never wanted to accept. Oh, I'm having mental health issues. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Do we have to ask an idiot, Taylor? Yeah, because for such a long time, it was stigmatized, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And so people were afraid to talk about it. Now that more people are open about it, people are not afraid to talk about it. Yep. And so, not to put no gender on it, especially as a black man. Like, if you're right. going through something, you really couldn't vent and talk about it. Like, Shit. hey, man. And I feel like a lot of older black, you know, people are still like that as well. But like, what? So one of my uncles one day, he was like, I'll never go to therapy, but why not? Think about how many older black men got high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go to the doctor. Yep. What? Oh, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> he said, what? <laughs> Sometimes it take a minute, I but I, 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 I get it. I was kind of like... I get it. I just throw it out there. I let Drill finish the, the they, thesis. They didn't pull up, Taylor? No. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, Taylor took their week off, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> I just want to do a couple of ask you. Do we have any new ones? Well, um, Nav, Lex, Drea, I enjoyed the conversation, man. Man, I appreciate you. This was fun. Uh, tell them when. Tell them go to poorminds.com again for the tour dates. Yes, go to poorminds.com. You can get all the information of everything you need. Poor Minds there. Episodes drop every single Friday. Bonus content on Patreon. Um, you can follow us on Instagram at p o u r underscore m i n d s. And yeah. Nah, what about you? You got a website? Yeah, I got. Uh, yeah, I got a website. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. I don't, I don't know if folks go to it. Out, it. I don't know if people go to it, but I got a website. Uh, <laughs> and them tickets are on there. Them tickets are on there. Navgreen.com. Man, the tickets are there. The tickets are there. Uh, <laughs> go buy them so they don't be there. Yeah, okay. go buy them. And don't worry, you can sit anywhere. Like you can bring whoever you need to bring. <laughs> Y'all good. <laughs> All right, let's pay some bills. Then I want to come back and uh, talk to Mouse and Nile. I'm especially glad Mouse is here because he's a Jay-Z connoisseur. So I want to talk to Mouse about uh, Jay-Z's new verse and some ridiculous hot takes Mouse had about it. I saw one that was very ridiculous, but we'll talk about it when we come back. Today's episode is also brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly, The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords and most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. All right, we're back. Uh, salute to Nav and um, the ladies of Poor Minds, Lex and Dre for pulling up. I got Nyla and Mouse in here. Uh, I needed to talk to Nyla and Mouse, the host of the What Podcast, because uh, Jay-Z put out a verse this week on Khaled's album, uh, God Did, and I saw uh, Critics of Culture uh, <laughs> ask, what is Jay-Z's greatest verse of all time? And um, Mouse said, guess said, verse. Guess verse. And Mouse said, the verse from What It Feels Like. That's his best verse. That's his best feature verse of all time. You got to stop, Mouse. Yeah, all right. How Y'all you, not listening to what he said? How do you come to that conclusion? Because who know more Jay-Z verses than me other than Jay-Z? And so that verse is better than Dope Boys Go Crazy. Yes. It's better than Diamonds of Sierra Leone yes. remix. Yes. It's better than You Don't Know remix verse. Yep. Yo, yo, pull up. Yo, put the... Yo, he bugged out. It was cool. He bugged out. So what it feels like was a cool verse. He didn't bug out. He's, here's the thing. Jay-Z has these moments 
where he like just floats on records. And 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 they're always in moments where he's reminding you of who he is. He said Scorpion Bricks. Way before Aubrey's double disc, 40 on my lap, clap, yeah. sound like 40 did the mix. Put the bass in coach like a Michelin yes. star chef, chef kiss to my wrist. Fire. I go dummy with my left. Fire. With I arrest on my dick, trying Fire. to order it on my checks too Fire. late. But you know they hate when you become more than they expect. Fire, but that ain't You that. let them crack and storm your capital, yet you talking so, tough to me. me. I lost all my little respect. They put your feet all on the desk. Yeah. He said, I'm selling weed in the open, bringing folks home from the feds. I know the payback going to be mean. Mm. I'm saving all my little bread. Mm. Pray for me, y'all. One day I'm going to have to pray for, I'm going to have to pay for these thoughts. Mm. He said, he said they burn it. He said they burn the bridge on the other side. You know you can't swim across. You know niggas can't swim. They fried Mike after he died. You'll never land. All jokes aside, Oof. I arrived on the day Fred Hampton got mur murdered, ass assassinated. Oof. Just to clarify further, what y'all gave birth to is the chairman mixed with Jeff Fort. First of all, let's stop right there. What y'all gave birth to is the chairman mixed with Jeff Fort. Mm. We talking about Fred Hampton and the leader of the L. Rukin Black Peace Stone, Jeff mm. Ford. Niggas was on two completely opposite sides mm. of the movement. He said, but what y'all gave birth to when you killed him and birthed me on the same day, December 4th, is the chairman mixed with Jeff Ford. Listen, phenomenal verse with his greatest guest that's feature his, of all time. his greatest time? guest feature. He's nuts. He was 50 some odd years old when he did this. Do you this. remember what Dope Boys Go Crazy sounded like? Yes. Rap it. Uh, wait, so More than a hustle, I'm the definition, the definition of, of it. it. Master Chef, Chef Lord, the the kitchen Lord cover. of the Kitchen Cover. Lord of the Street Legend, homie, is Hova. More than a relief pitch, pitch I'm, I'm the closer. closer. The Mariana of the Marriott. Marriott. If the money talks to the whole world, world about to hear me out. out. Like, here's the thing. Once again, Jay-Z gets on these records. At that was him point. floating. When you was talking about floating, he floated on that. He was on floating. What, Doe Boy go crazy? On Doe Boy Crazy. Yes, he was yes, floating. Yes, 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 yes. He gets on this shit. He's talking crazy off rip. He said Scorpion Bricks way before Aubrey W. Listen, this. I'm not saying lap. the verse Clap. ain't dope. Like 40 did the mix. When you say the greatest, and I'm glad that I'm glad that critics of culture uh narrowed it down to his best guest verses. Cause saying Hove's greatest verses is too it's, broad. It's still easy. It's too broad. It's, it's still easy. It, it's, it's not really Dead Presidents. Easy. Dead Presidents one, verse two. But that's not a guest feature though. No, I said if it was his greatest feature. If it was greatest verse of all time. No, man. It's too many. How you say how you just say dead presidents? Dead presidents, volume one, verse two. No. No. I'm sick of these niggas. She said, I'm so no. sick of niggas. I want money like Cosby. Who wouldn't? That's the kind of talk that make me think you niggas ain't got no putting. Niggas got those kind of dreams in jail. You in the streets, homie, get your mail. Niggas are posting the SL, but can't post bail. Niggas are grab the toast, but it's great. scared to throw the rose. Well, I'm here to tell niggas it ain't no swell. There's heaven, then it's hell. One day you cruising in your seven, next day you sweating, forgetting your lies. Alibis ain't matching up. Bullshit catching up. Hit with the Rico, they repo your vehicle. vehicle. Everything was all good just, just a, a week, week ago. ago. Red Star bitching, ain't you? Red Star stitching, stitching, ain't you? you? I forgive you, weak ass hustler, just ain't, ain't you? you? Aside from the fast cars, honeys will shake their ass and balls. You know you wouldn't be involved with the underworld killers. Carriers, the Mac Millers, East Coast body is West Coast cap. Pillars, stop playing. Phenomenal. Nothing's better than that. Phenomenal verse, but you, you when you say that's his greatest of, verse of all time. Of all time. But you just say, fuck never change. Nah, I'm not saying fuck it, but that comes that could, it's later down the I, list. I, I, I'm just, I was just blown away that you said what it feels like versus his greatest Because verse. niggas is missing it because one, one thing. So you I, don't think but, niggas is missing God did? The stuff he's saying, the, how oh, crazy he's talking about God I know did. niggas missed it. Niggas missed it you know, for a minute. You, you know what I said about God did? I'm a Marvel guy. Right. Right. Same. So it's like somebody who's never seen any Marvel movies mm -hmm. and they watch Endgame. If you watch Endgame and you've never seen any other Marvel movies, you're going to be saying, well, what's that? And right, right, that? right. And why did that happen? Right. That? If you don't know the Jay Z origin, you probably don't appreciate right. what God did right. verse in that way. Right. Now I'm not saying this is the greatest verse of all time. It's not. It's up there. Um, it's up there. But see, that's the it's thing top about ten. See, listen, saying 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 Jay Z's greatest guest verse of all time is like, is like, you know, trying to pick which Super Bowl for Tom Brady is the best. I think the you know ones I mean? done in the later years Yo, but that's are the better ones. But that's the thing. We're we're so impressed that this guy is still fifty. Rapping like We gotta this. remember he's one to two years younger than Rakim and Big Daddy King. And that nigga's older than hip hop. And he's <laughs> out rap. That's right. He's out but, rapping. Not, we're not even talking about these right. little niggas now. I'm no. talking about his peers, niggas older. He's really that nigga. Yes. And for him to step out there and do the shit he's doing at 50 plus we, years we, old. We, we've never, we've never seen it in hip hop. And and that's why I think some if people Jordan take it for chip, if, if Jordan wanted chip with the wizard, that would be his greatest chip. No. 
But do you know when he went to the Wizards, there were people who were picking the Wizards to go to the finals just because it was Michael Jordan? And that's my point, right? Like LeBron James, somebody like LeBron James has been great for so long. Every time he's on a team, you expect that team to go to the championship. Yes. Last year, LeBron averaged 30 points a game at like 30 eight years yeah. old, 37, 38 years old. Like to us, to, and to anybody with common sense, that's an unbelievable feat. Right. But for most people, they're like, oh, that's just Braun. But no, to be doing that at 38, 39, same thing with Tom Brady. Tom Brady won his seventh Super Bowl ring at 40 plus. That's, so that's, that's incredible. Me, that's but, his best one. But people say, it's Tom Brady. So you expect that. So the same thing with Hove. Like when you when people say, oh, it's his greatest verse of all time, I'm like, that's how Hove been rapping for Three decades. Yeah, but we didn't seen every other person his age fall off. We've a heard... different different time frame though. Totally different time frame. When Rakim then was rapping, like Rakim is the person that kind of like created He's that whole new lyrical style like that, of yeah. rapping. You know what I mean? Like they didn't get a chance to ad even adjust to this that's a fact. new era. They didn't play in this new era. Like, yeah. The way Hov been rapping since '96, that still holds up right now in that's 2022. You came out in the '80s and you. It's done. I've been. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left. The only person like, that rap like that today is making a stallion. Man, shut up. Nah, look. <laughs> nah, look. What do you think of Holes verse? The new one on Cal. The new one, yes. I liked it. Like you said, a lot of things went over my head. Um, so I had to read the lyrics, kind of, kind of like Kendrick's project. Mm -hmm. Um, but after you broke it down and explained it to me, I'm like, ah, okay, I get it. It's a lot there, man. And I'm like, once again, I'm not saying this is greatest verse of all time. I'm just saying that Four this minutes. is. Yes. That's unprecedented. Who else got a four-minute feature ever? No, there's people with four-minute features. Man. Ooh. And rap. Cap Capadonna, win awards. All right, see, that's what I be talking about. Win awards is phenomenal. I'm yeah, just okay. telling you. It's not the first time. You see what I be talking about. What do you mean? You, you see what I be saying with these you, old niggas in this? In this that's woo? right. It's they called, find a way to bring these woo niggas <laughs> in here. It's called history. No. Yes. It, yeah, that, it's called history. It's they called closed history. the book on that one. No, 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 no. You, asked, you, you made a statement. That's you a four, His four-minute verse can hold up against Hov's four-minute verse? Win awards is a phenomenal verse. That's not what I asked you. I said there's a hold up against God did. Uh, no, for the same reasons. That what I'm I, for, no, no, no. For the same reasons that I just said about Rakim. It's a different flow, different era. It's dope, though. Winter Wars versus Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm going to listen to it again. I'm oh, going to listen no. to it again. I haven't, I haven't listened to it since. It's phenomenal. Like, Cap killed that shit. Like, I, he, he killed that verse. Four minutes. It's Jay good. Did, it's did, really good. Jay gave us a small. Jay gave us a. This was the equivalent to when you watched uh, Thriller for the first time and seen it was cinematic. The first time you seen Ghost, it was cinematic. The first time you seen, even like when Biggie and um, I didn't feel that way now. Four minutes? No. You like whoa? What am I in a movie? What's I'm happening? Impressed by Hov's length. All right, this guy's crazy. <laughs> you won't catch me what? like that. I'm I'm just saying, I don't play them brilliant idiot what? games no more. I'm just saying, brilliant idiot games I'm done just, with that, buddy. I'm just saying, like no, I, I like the fact that it was four minutes long, but it's like, yeah, that's not why I like the verse. I like the verse because he didn't waste the ball. That's what I'm saying. In four yeah, yeah, minutes, yeah, yeah. no filler. Yeah, he didn't waste the ball. He didn't Capadonna waste the has ball. filler and win no, award. He don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. No, he don't. <laughs> he absolutely does not. You Every ball saying. on win awards is phenomenal. Don't but you just asked. That, that was the first verse that came to mind. When I heard the J verse, that's what it took me back to. It took me back when guys used to get on the, the end of a track and just body it, you yeah. know, in that way. And that's what he did. I mean, shit, uh, Drake's Lemon Pepper verse was about three, four minutes long. We're going to compare that to this. I think, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't J. Cole's a verse on, uh... I don't think Cole. The shit with Benny the Butcher, wasn't that shit like three, four minutes long? No. Long. The song wasn't, wasn't even... The song was barely four minutes long. I don't know. I, it's, I, that, that verse yeah, is long. That's what I'm saying. There's no way. His verse is long. It's a good verse. It's a I'm not saying it's not. I'm yeah. just saying for whole at 50 plus, he is literally... He's at the, he's at the halfway mark. Of what? Life. <laughs> and he's still <laughs> rapping like that. I think, I think, I think rappers are supposed to get better with age. I think the reason that Hove is able to get better with age, and a lot of these new guys, I mean, a lot of these OGs like Nas and whoever, is because they're actually rapping about things that are going on in their life. They're not trying to be. Oh you know, yeah, that's. There was a time when motherfuckers was dying their beard black. They still doing that, but they was Hove they was still trying to be young. The record industry was saying to them, "Oh, you can't talk about being married. You can't talk about you know loving your kids. Like you still got to stay in this formula of guns and." Pussy and drugs and, you know, being Hove the woman works. that, being the man that all the women want. Hove works in that way, the same way that Pusha works in that way. Maybe Pusha doesn't do it to an extent. Hove and Pusha work because it's the same way that we'll listen to the OGs that we know is really like that. We'll sit there and listen to them yeah. all day talk about what they did. 
Like, we'll be fooled. Like, if you just sat with us all day, you sat with all of us in this room, you just talked to us about radio and this shit. Like, you, just, we just be sitting here like, oh, wah, 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 wah. But you would only listen because uh, you listen to Hov because he's still successful. Exactly. You listen to Pusha because he's still... And it's not him saying, I'm on the block doing it today. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, these were the... But... It's comparison. Just like when he says, you know, we pushing Fenty like fentanyl or I turned the coke into champagne. You know, I cleaned up La Madrena with the same soap. Like that, that, that bar he right there is phenomenal. Him. He said, these are hymns because I'm him. I said, come on, stop playing with You me. know who La Madrena is, right? Yeah. No, okay. I'm just saying, I'm just asking. Me? I'm me. just asking. But that's why I'm saying, <laughs> this is why this verse is so dope. Even when he said like, Scroll down, Taylor, and he's like, he was down 10 for this. And then he went and got the interest. We just got the 10 back and went back like what the interest is. Like, the interest is. like Jesus Christ. Like, you got to know the origin story. Of like, this was perfect. Yeah, really like, the way you put it word. as a marvel, that's perfect. Because yes. if if I didn't know, if I wasn't there, Reasonable Doubt, if I wasn't there, Volume 1, Volume 2, yeah. Rock Live Familiar, if I wasn't there, I'd be saying, like, who's it? Who's him? Yes. Is he talking about him and him? We never heard we've never heard him talk to OG like talk about OG like never. That. Ever. Never. You've never heard him talk about never. OG like that. OG sold it, OG called Kingpin. If those are drug lords, then who are we then? I bet you there's people like that that think he's talking about himself when he says OG. No, I hope they do. <laughs> hope they do. <laughs> hope they do. <laughs> I'm just saying this is a I, I don't know where this ranks in all time whole verses. It gotta be uh, pause. Pure length alone. It has to be top 10. I said pause, so I don't know what you did. It don't matter. Pause. Some things you can't pause about. <laughs> I, I gave context. <laughs> I'm not playing these. I told you, I'm not playing these yeah, idiot that, games no that more. That's going to be a great clip. Off pure length alone. <laughs> Comrade. It's funny. Hold on. It's funny. Comrade. I don't, know, I don't know if we can say top 10 yet, bro. I, can, I feel like it's too early. I did see. Four I did see. minutes. Four minutes. So length and time. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> It's crazy. Four minutes enough time, <laughs> Nyla. If somebody's the right length, is four minutes enough? <laughs> That's a fact. You can flip. You can flip you half midway. You can flip wow. you over. I'm gonna pull up this Jay Z greatest greatest verses list. Right, hold on, because I saw this earlier. Jay Z best, and I want to ask you some of these because they had this top ten. I don't. I think it's a little too early for top ten, man. If it's not in top 10, it's definitely knocking at the door. Like, you have to... It, it's up. It's first ballot. Number one, they got Never Let Me Down. Yeah, that's a fact. Never Let Me Down is his greatest verse of all time. Number two, they have Go Crazy remix. I'm not mad at that. Number three is Young G's. Not up, mad at that. The Way well, Out album. Uh, you number, felt like you had to explain to me what Young G was from? I'm just saying. I'm just for everybody. <laughs> they, they, number four is Drug Dealers Anonymous. That's it. Now they're bugging. That's, I don't think so. That's what I'm saying. Top 10? That's not top four. That's not a number four verse. Of that's, whole. Yeah, they bugging. Number five, Diamonds from Sierra Leone remix. That's, that's just should be a, that's the top five. Six seen it all. Yeah, six seen it all is crazy. Uh, what's free? That's another one where he floats. I got what's free. I got I got what it feels like over what's free. And they got God did number eight. Number nine is blackout, and then the, oh my god, they got the high remix at number ten. Jay, right, bro. Jay well, wouldn't even agree with and that. Somebody from the south wrote that list. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody. From, somebody from Monk's <laughs> Monk's <laughs> Corner. Wrote I like that the high remix, but he. I, I don't. I don't think it's top ten. But I just love when I love when Jay Z floats like this. This he is gives what us rap these is reminders. about. This is like a, he's, when you, you talk about his age. He does these verses every now and then that are like mile markers. Yeah, absolutely. For who he is, just absolutely. to remind y'all. Hey, man. Stop playing. And this was the perfect one. Hove did. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. I, like, this is, like, kind of what I said with, it's funny that, obviously, they married. Like, when Beyonce dropped, the world stopped. And ain't nobody else doing that. When Hove drops a verse, shit stops, bro. Like, yeah. niggas stop. No matter what, it, it stopped. Because he don't talk too much. So, so, so he, he don't only re- talks through the music. That's right. He don't reveal too much about his private life. So when he does it in the music, it makes it an event. Like, stop playing. Like, at this point, whatever the rank you got this... I'm not, I'm not even, I'm unfollowing niggas actively. I'm unfollowing niggas whenever I say, oh, y'all, y'all overrating this whole verse. Unfollow. I almost started to unfollow Critics the Coach because he said that I love the dough. His verse on I love the dough was better than God did. I almost started to unfollow he's, him. I feel like he's from Connecticut. I'm not even joking when I say this. He's from Virginia and y'all look alike. We don't look I promise you. Like. You seen Chris before, Taylor? <laughs> We don't look anything like I Maybe, I don't know. Maybe we could. I can't control that. He's just shorter than you. Yeah, I, I can't, promise you. If you listen, see him, you'd be like, damn. Nah, I would never. I see people that look like me. I'd be like, I still don't see it. I look at my kids. They'd be like, look like me. I know you don't. 
<laughs> um, but no, nah, what do y'all but, think of the song overall? I think I I think we could do without the first twenty seconds of it where Khaled's like talking. I agree. I don't need that's on most Khaled records. I it think, also could do without Rick Ross. I don't I don't mm. think we need Ross and I love Ross. I don't think we I think need we Ross. need a Ross. I'm gonna I, tell, I think we need a Ross. Dip. I'm gonna tell you what I would have done if that was me and on that record. I wouldn't have put Ross on it. And once Hole gave me his verse, I would have went to Wayne and I'd have said, Wayne, you need to listen to this verse. And I would have said, Wayne, you know how you 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 had those bars where you said you're the apex and people replicate yeah. you with the tattoos and the dreads? Mm -hmm. I need to hear more about what Wayne did. Because Wayne could really flex if he wanted to. Motherfuckers can front on Lil Wayne all they want, but Lil Wayne been around since 1996. But I don't okay. know if Wayne could do... Yes, he Wayne, could. I think Wayne did... And everybody knows I'm, I'm very indifferent about Wayne, so I can always be honest about him. When he gets crazy, he gets crazy. The thing about this, four minutes, Wayne can't do this. Yes, he because, could. No, Wayne has no, done it. no. If we go back and listen to those mixtapes of does those it. records where he's rapping, it's yes. a lot of filler. Maybe. It's a lot of filler. Yes, but Some bars is in yes, there, and yeah. with the ketchup like mayonnaise, or the filler, 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 filler. I feel like, filler, but the filler. fillers be clever, though. The fillers, filler. the, fill, the fillers might not have like context, but it'd be flash shit. And I agree. I think a focused Wayne after hearing that J verse and you're telling Wayne, Wayne, I just need you to flex about your career. Because motherfuckers can say what they want about Lil Wayne. He's been around since 1996 and he fulfilled prophecy when Birdman said by the year 2000, Lil Wayne going to tear this game up. The man's reinvented himself so many different times. Went platinum in a week, a couple of times with the card. And he was the card four. He bought, he, the I mean, biggest rappers of this generation. generation he introduced you to. And he was one of the first rappers like in, like embracing gay community. What do you mean? Because remember he said, um, what's that shit he said? He said, uh, suck a nigga dick from the truck fit. There was no girls line. Nah, Biggie did that first. Nah, there was no girls line. Nala, Nala. I'm, nope. That was, Nala not wrong, bro. No, she is wrong because Nala Richard Pryor, wrong. all he did was recite a Richard Pryor line. Nala, no, uh, I'm Biggie said, I'll fuck RuPaul before I fuck them ugly ass escape girls. Then he I said, don't know if he knew RuPaul was. Man, shut up, man. <laughs> Jamaican, <laughs> Nick don't be knowing. <laughs> not gonna play and, with and there was a transgender in the Big Papa video. How do we know that? Because if you watch the video, the woman walks up to the urinary stall and whips it, out in peas. Oh, do we know that for sure? Watch the video. We saw the video. It's, a, the it's, video. A, it's, a, it's a video cinema. We saw the video. Little Wayne literally said, nigga, suck a girls, nigga. Little many, Wayne said, suck a nigga dick for some truck fit. In 2000. There was no women's clothing line. Truck fit was only for niggas. Who is he inviting to suck his penis? Women that like to dress like men, maybe. So the I just know that he's not the first person in the I don't like to do dress that. like men, but I do. Do you shop, not? I do. Well, you don't like to dress like men. Part, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're gonna say right now. I don't. I All don't. right, this is a men's hoodie, but I cut it. <laughs> <laughs> I just see. I just, I just, I just wish that Wayne would have flexed a little bit more on some Wayne. I think he flexed as much as he could at this point in his he's, career. He's the, he's the third most influential rapper of all time. Who's the first two? Drake and Hov? Kanye and Jay. No, no. It's, I, I, uh, it's, he's four. Kanye. Well. I'm not gonna say the number order number, but it's four: Kanye, Jay, Pac, Wayne. You got four most influential rappers of all time. In there now too. Not the four. No. Not the four. No. The, the, the five. You know. You know why I don't put Chief Keef in there? Because Chief Keef didn't influence like the world. He influenced a a sound. A, a, a sound of a, a, of a, a region. region. Yeah. yeah. He didn't influence the world. Those four people I named literally influenced people all over the world. Kanye, Jay, Wayne. Who did I say? Kanye, Pop. Jay, Wayne, and Pop. I think what Keith did is still growing. You really? Think so? Yeah. I don't look at look at New York right now. But is that is that because of that's Chief not because of Chief Keith? That's because of was Keith even doing drill? Was that called drill back in the day? Yeah, they, that, that was drill. drill. Yeah, oh. that was drill. Okay. And then that influenced Bobby and Rowdy, which that's what influenced. And now we're here. It's still here. And I'm gonna tell you the other person that's gonna be there in the in in the future future. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with Nevadius. Stop playing with Nevadius. <laughs> stop playing with Nevadius. I want people to stop playing Our with him. Future should be future is on the Mount Rushmore of this generation, easily. Maybe of multiple generations. I I've told Nala this before. I'll say it again. Nala, she gets. I told y'all I like Future now. Leave me alone. Future is the second biggest rapper of the last decade. Who's the first? Drake. Drake. Okay, just make sure. Yeah, it's Drake and Future. It's, it, and, it, and, it, and that's no disrespect because I love Kendrick. Kendrick is the leader of the new school to me. Cole's dope, but that Future, that Hendrix guy, 
That, look at the numbers. Look at the stats. Look what he's. Look at his influence. That nigga got it, bro. He's, and that nigga be speaking to your soul. He say some shit. You be like, for real. That's it. Um, that's all I wanted to talk to y'all about. I just wanted to know why you thought that what it feels like verse was his greatest verse of all time. I, that's greatest feature verse. Greatest feature verse of all time. I don't. You think that knowledge? You think that verse is what it feels like? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> it's a dope. It's a cool verse. It's a dope verse. I like the pound cake verse better than that one. Pound cake. Pound cake's tough, but niggas not. Niggas say he said y'all think we gonna. He said y'all think we gonna stop because y'all kill cuz. We gonna turn up even. No, he said y'all think we gonna stop because y'all spill blood. We gonna turn up even more since y'all kill cuz. Like he's he blacked the whole verse. Love it, but it's not his greatest verse of all time. I don't think it's better than Dope Boys Go Crazy remix. I don't think it's better than Diamonds from Sierra Leone remix. Diamonds Sierra Leone is crazy. I don't think it's Go better crazy. from Never Let You Down. Go Crazy was a was one of the ones you said where yep. he more floated than anything. The bars is crazy though. The, the, he got some bars because he's hove. But what it feel? I think what it feels like when if when niggas hear this and after they react, they sit down with that verse. They gonna come back talking a little different. Let's hear it. I'm not. I'm not. They, against they, they gonna come back talking a little different because that verse not a regular verse. Yeah, Charlamagne really sits down with the verses though. I, I that's think. why I do every. He'd be like, all right, <laughs> Jay Z just dropped. Because <laughs> I want. I, listen, I know Jay. Like he said, these are hymns. You these and, are hymns because he's him. If and, and I don't. I don't need a new Jay Z album. But if he drops one, I hope he calls it Book of Hove. I hope he calls it Book of Hove. Yeah. And and yeah. I don't need. I don't need it. You know, Jay Z solidified. I'm still. I'm not gonna hold you. If, I'm, if, if niggas being real, you talk about like breaking down the dexterity and we breaking down what niggas do lyrically. If niggas not really done breaking down 444. Niggas not really done breaking down the Carters, what he was saying on the Carters. Which a very slept on album. Like, you talk about what Hove is doing lyrically. Niggas not done breaking that down before he even give us something else. Very true. Nigga, it's going to take it's gonna take niggas a, at least a year to finish breaking this down. No, it's a lot there. I you mean, can't just ingest this there. in four minutes. No, I've been listening to it for the past week, and it's a lot It's a lot there. Like, I'm I'm still trying to figure out why he said, well, you know, why he said Breezy what the business is. We pushing Fenty like fifth and all the shit is all legitimate. Like, I didn't, I don't, I don't even know if that's Chris Brown he talking about. I thought it was, but it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense the way he went I don't, into I it. I think he's talking about Jay Brown. I, I think you talking so about either. Jay Brown, the president of Rock Nation. Yeah, I know, but I don't think. I think you talking about. Oh, Jay because Brown. he does all the he he does all the uh, yeah, he said, the back end business. Yeah, I think he's saying. Jay, I think breathing with the business. Saying, is, I think you talking about Jay Brown. I don't know if the, the I'm I'm at the cap table with the splits is not that cap table boy we lived this. I don't know if that was a cap shot. No, Colin Kaepernick. I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. It's a lot there, bro. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot there. All right, um, that's it. Uh, we did it. Thank you to Nav and um, the ladies of Poor Minds for pulling up again. Lex and Drea, thank you to Nyla and Mouse Jones. Uh, Andrew will be back next week. And as always, if you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>